Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to another video. And today I have a five star prediction video for you. I've seen these going around. I saw Sam from Pots and Tomes do this, and I saw Amber also do this. So I'll have their videos linked. But I believe Mercedes from Mercedes Booker's Musings was the first person to start this trend. So I'll also have her video and her channel linked down below. Book has to mean a lot to me for me to be able to give it five stars. Here I have a few books that I'm predicting that are going to be a five star read for me. It's actually kind of hard to make this list, but I'm really excited to share it all with you. The first book I have here is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jamison. I don't really know too much about this book. I believe it's a fantasy apocalyptic book and I think it's about the world ending or something. I don't know. I've just heard really amazing things and a lot of people I really trust who I feel like I have some of my reading taste to have given this five stars and really loved it. It's won awards. Apparently it's really beautifully written. I loved beautifully written books. I've also heard that this book can pull quite a few emotions out from you. It sounds like a book I'm going to really, really enjoy and love and give five stars. The second book I have is The Kite Runner by Khaled Hassini. I've read Khaled Hassini two other books which is A Thousand Splendid Suns and The Mountain's Echo. I adore both those books. I'm so emotionally invested in his stories. I really love how he always seems to write about sibling relationships during wartime. The book follows two young boys who are friends but they are like brothers so even though stories and it's not always siblings there is definitely a sibling like relationship and he just does them so so well. Though if this book is anything like his other two books it's going to be a five star read for me. Uh, the next book I have is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. I've been meaning to read this book for so long it's kind of embarrassing at this point. I don't know too much about this book but I know that the ships in this like kind of have souls and they can talk and it's got pirates and I love pirates. This book just sounds like everything I ever wanted a book and I haven't read it. I don't know why. I just keep putting it off. But I just think this is going to be a five star read when I get to it. It sounds amazing. It sounds like what I want. It sounds like it's going to be a rich fantasy world with just really great characters and just a great adventure and I can't wait and I think it's going to be five stars. The next book I have here is Eleanor Olsen is completely fine. This is an adult contemporary book that follows a girl called Eleanor that I believe is dealing with some mental health issues and I think she meets a man at work who is a fellow colleague and he kind of builds a bit of a connection to her and helps her get out of her shell but the relationship I believe is entirely platonic so I really really like that aspect. I think this is going to be a really hard hitting book and I've kind of been saving this one because I want to read it in one day so I'm sort of waiting for a day where I have nothing on and I can just devote an entire day to reading this book. I think it's going to really hit me with the feels and it's going to be a book that touches on mental health and trauma and I'm just predicting this is going to be a star read for me. I also have Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is a book that follows Assassin Magical Nuns. Just that is like all I need to know and it sounds so so awesome. I have actually started this book in the past but I didn't finish it. I started listening to the audiobook through my library and I just couldn't. The narrator wasn't awful, I just really struggled to understand some narrators but I think this is just going to be awesome. I've heard really great things and yeah everyone seems to get this book five stars so i'm highly anticipating it and predicting that i will also be giving it five stars this book i have on this list is kindred by octavia e butler this book is a time travel story and we follow a black woman who travels back in time to when black people were enslaved and i believe she is then enslaved herself but she's enslaved by a white man who is her ancestor or something I'm not too sure. I've just heard amazing things about Octavia E. Butler and I've meant to read her for a very long time but I wanted to start off with this book because this book intrigued me the most out of all the novels because I really love time travel and Octavia E. Butler is also black herself so this is on voices and I think it's just going to be a really interesting discussion on race. Also a really impactful read. I have really high expectations and I'm predicting this to be a five star. The last book I have here on this list is Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. This one's kind of an interesting one because I literally know barely anything about this. All I know is this book follows a thief and that's it. Everyone seems to love this book. It's got a lot of praise and a lot of hype in the fantasy community and apparently Robin Jackson Bennett is a really, really great storyteller and I just have really high expectations 
Brandon Sanderson, who I adore, has also blurbed this, and he says that the exciting beginning of a promising new epic fantasy series prepare for ancient mysteries, innovative magic, and a heart-pounding heist. It's got a heist. Oh my god, see? Five stars. We can already tell. So all the books that I predict are going to be a five star read for me. I will do a follow up video once I have read all these and let you know if they were five stars or not. But I reckon they will be. I hope so. Let me know what books are on your five star predictions list. And I hope that you're enjoying whatever you're currently reading. And I'll see you next time. Bye.